All right, Patrick, thanks. It is primary day here in Rhode Island. The polls are open, and it's now the job of the voters to narrow down the candidates in several key races. Joining us this morning to talk about some of those races is our political analyst, Joe Fleming. Thanks for being here this My pleasure. morning. Uh, first of all, what are some of the key races to watch today? I think two of the key races today we're going to watch is the first congressional district. We have Patrick Kennedy's seat wide open, so we have four candidates running, and there's really not been a lot of polling. David Cicilline is perceived as the front runner. But with the anger of the voters out there, you never know what's going to happen. The other race is the mayor of Providence. Three out of the four candidates have a legitimate shot to win that race today. And that race, I believe, could come down to who gets their vote out, who has the best voter identification system to turn their voters out. That could be a very close primary today. That one could even go to the absentee ballots tonight. Uh, one of the uh, biggest issues on the minds of Rhode Islanders right now, you mentioned that voters are angry. Right. People are upset. They, they are unemployed, mm -hmm. underemployed. Yep. Uh, taxes are going up. <laughs> Uh, home values are going down. Right. Do you think this will drive people to the polls, or do you think people will be kind of, you know? Well, I, I don't think it may drive the, them to the polls now. I think it will drive them to the polls in November. Okay. Primaries in Rhode Island traditionally have a very small turnout, 20, 25 percent on the high side. So I think those are the issues that are going to really move voters in November. I don't think they're going to move them so much today. I think it's going to be the campaign organizations getting their voters out and identifying who their voters are. But those are the issues, the jobs, the economy, taxes. That is what mo is motivating the voters this year. So you think that in November you'll see, do you think it'll be a higher than normal turnout because of those issues? I think in November it possibly could be. We have a new governor coming in. I think those issues may propel people out. It depends how angry they still are in November. Right now, I think the voters are angry. I talk to candidates around the state. They tell me when they go door to door, they're getting the anger from the voters on the doors. Mm. And I expect that to really come out. It may come out some today. There may be a few surprises tonight, but I expect to see even more of that come November. Very interesting. Uh, when you when you say there could be some surprises, are there any that you're seeing on the horizon as ones that will potentially reveal themselves? No, it's, it's hard to tell right now because there's been so little polling done in the primary. Yeah. So you really don't know who the front runners are. But again, that first congressional district, you've had a lot of people attacking David Cicilline over the last 10 days. And typically you attack who is the perceived front Exactly. Runner. So he's perceived as a front runner. The question is, we have those attacks uh, sunk into the voters, and do they now move away from Cicilline? The other thing is that you may move voters away from Cicilline, but they have three other choices. Right. So if those votes get divided, Cicilline can still win the race. Very interesting. Uh, we will have uh, extensive coverage of Campaign 2010 on Eyewitness News. Thanks so much for My being pleasure. here, Joe. I know your services are going to be required <laughs> throughout the day. We'll bring you the live updates on all the major races throughout the evening, including reaction from the candidates. And it's all on our sister station, WPRI 12, where you can head over to foxprovidence.com. But the issue at the polls, uh, whether people turn out, is not going to be a weather issue today, Michelle. No.